Tomáš Zdechovský, the member of uh, European Parliament. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this invitation. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am very happy that I can be here with you and I will start with provocative question. Do you really trust that Green Deal is something what is uh, what is staying on the real figures? Do you think that someone was counting how much it will be cost? Do you know that the prediction for the future, what are giving with many organizations, including European commissions, are truth? And this is about this is my, my presentation. And I would like to be very honest to you and I would like to speak very openly with you about these things because my party, and I'm from the Conservative Party, from the Christian Democrats, is supporting a lot of Green Deal. And we are supporting a lot of new, new um, sources of energy and how to behave uh, and um, to support better behavior to the nature. But many times when we are asking for the sources of uh, some data, Many times we have it the problems that nobody responds to us. And this is why uh, many people from the other sides are very skeptical and are giving us another view of the situation. I think that climate change is something what is the reality. And nobody will say, nobody will tell you in this moment from this serious scientific that it doesn't function and this doesn't exist. But how to react and what we have to, to do uh, with, um, especially in the term of the energy, it's very specific and I think that there is not only one way how to solve it. I was in European Parliament from 2014 there were a lot of discussion about that. I think more of them were very, very ideological. In 2019, it was a huge topic for the election. And many, uh, many parties in the Western world, Western European world, really start the campaign that they want to change the energy mix and really bring to the Europe some carbonate neutrality. We are speaking about 2050 that the Europe will be carbon neutral. And uh, with this goals came the Commissioner Timmermans and he started the socialist campaign on these topics. The EPP react with the same way and many of uh, smaller parties and groups had the same program and wanted the same. Also, the conclusion for the Commission was we want green Europe. But problem is how to do it. And the problem, what, what I started this presentation was that really it's very, very ideological. Many times the discussion about that, how to do it, it's not realistic. It's much more we have to do it because it's green. But uh, we know it very well from the Czech Republic with experience 10, 15 years ago with uh, uh, energy, uh, it's sun energy from collectors that there is a lot of difficulties and a lot of problems what we have to solve before we will ask for carbon neutral Europe. I think that uh, very important question is, and this is what I am asking uh, many times, uh, how are evaluated the impacts of this all ambitions plan? Response of European Commission and many of my colleagues is, Thomas, this is in this moment improving and let's see how we will do it in the future. But uh, uh, I 
don't want to say that for the future we will start with this process as uh, as discussion that there was any mistake or er uh, errors what will cost a lot of money i think it's very important from the from the beginning have it this discussion about the figures and how much it will cost because it's absolutely necessary to speak about effectiveness i am member of budget control committee and in budget control committee we are asking about that how much it cost and why it costs so much. Also, the question about the Green Deal is, uh, from this uh, perspective, very important. I cannot really invest the money to the wrong way. I think that uh, in the Czech Republic was many historical persons like Jara Zimmermann, who really found a um, one-way solution, what never was applied in the reality. And I think that uh, sometimes we see in the European program and in European, uh, European culture that we are losing a lot of uh, time when, with uh, an uh, effective solution. And we are declare uh, sometimes that some, uh, some of form uh, of energies are not ecological, but they are. And this is what I would like to mention too. Especially uh, about the positive ro role of nuclear power energy. What is ignored? Many of my colleagues are criticized and are saying it's danger, etc. Look on the Chernobyl, look on the Fukushima, etc. They are absolutely right. The nuclear energy must be 120% uh, uh, safe and we have to be sure that there will be never ever in the future any problem, any catastrophe uh, like, like in Chernobyl or Fukushima. I think that it's really necessary to have it the serious de debate about uh, nuclear energy. And I'm really very surprised that in the European um, uh, level is many times the positive role of nucle uh, nuclear power ignored. And I think that it's really very important to say that it's a clean source of the energy. And we, have, we need to have it, this debate. Because nuclear energy saves 700 million tons of CO2 per year. And I think that we cannot change the mix so quickly for some another source. What will be stable, what will be predictable, and what will be so clean. Also, this is my first provocative, uh, provocative point. The second thing is what we are speaking is really to have it some wind solar energy mix. It's perfect. I was now last year in the in the autumn in Morocco and I saw there the solar energy fields and the plan that they will have it 42% from this solar energy. It's impressive. But you have to say that they have it, these plants on the fields where it is sunny 95% uh, of days every year. And look to the Czech Republic, look to the many European countries and compare it. Our climate, cl climate possibilities with the Moroccan one. And I think it's very important, really, be realistic now in this process. I am strongly against that we will have it the uh, solar panels on the best fields in the Czech Republic. I think that we, ca we can have it uh, in the cities or in, um, in some buildings 
and where it will be effective. But I think this is not only one thing what we have to do. Also, it's a good way how to really stabilize the mix and how to bring to the mix some clean energy. But it's not, uh, it's not the best one. And I think for the Europe, we have to be realistic and find another solution. Many times in the discussion uh, in European Parliament, we are now speaking about, about the mix, how to make it. Because uh, really, uh, many of my colleagues presented that from the uh, wind, uh, wind um, uh, energy, we can increase a lot of energy uh, for the future. They are right. But uh, many times they are not speaking about, uh, about impact to the nature, because the impact many times it's not count and nobody is asking how it will be change, uh, change the environment around this wind, uh, wind store and uh, about uh, this photovoltaic and around um, all the things what are uh, using. And if you see the mix, you can see that uh, the, the greens, uh, the Green's power is increasing, but it's increasing only slowly. And it cannot really solve every problems and uh, every problems of the, of the German, uh, German uh, electric mix. And it's very important that Germany is now uh, starting before the election debate how it will be future of the German electric mix and CDU, CSU, it's many times very, very provocative and it's asking if really the Greens proposal to increase some of, uh, some of technologies what are looking perfectly now, especially in the uh, photovoltaic, are really more ecologic as, as the nuclear power. And I think it will be very interesting, this debate for the future. I am described here some of problems. Also, you can see there, and I think it's uh, uh, significant that uh, many times, if you increase the, the green power sources, you increase the price. And uh, it's very important that uh, this energy mix has to be safe, not only for the producing energy, but for the distribution. And how to distribute the energy, how to make the battery and sources of the energy, and how to make the price for the, for the uh, retail, uh, retail, uh, retail people and retail retail company. Also, it will be for the future, very important question, and not only speaking about uh, reducing of the CO2. And uh, issue with wind energy, I think that Germany are absolutely amazing in this issue. But we have to discuss what they did for the distribution in other countries and how we can solve the problem sometimes when we, we have it too much wind and we don't have it so much customers and how to really solve the problems with, uh, with um, energy in many countries what are not using, using this source. Also, uh, I really uh, said a lot of things, uh, the, especially I would like to mention that the Czech transmission system uh, had have many problems, especially with wind energy in the autumns. Also, uh, the second problem is how many hectares of forest disappear or, or land disappear thanks 
this uh, this wind energy. I think that uh, uh, the problems of of birds uh, and animals what are living around uh, this is something what we have to count to the mix and other things what are not solving. For the conclu uh, conclusion, because we don't have it enough time to go uh, to the details, but uh, I really gave you some of points what you can see there. And uh, from a mind point of view, I would like to, to conclude it with something positive. I am pro-nature oriented person. Let's make nature great again. I think it's uh, our goal. But we have to do it intelligent and we have to do it with less sources and less prices as uh, some people would are looking only ideological on, this, uh, on these topics and don't want to see another view. It's the uh, view of the effectiveness of this uh, Green Deal proposal. Thank you very much for your time and I'm very happy that I want to be with you and discuss with you this question. Okay, uh, thank you very much for your presentation and thank you for opening many questions. Uh, I think that there will be discussion, so I am handing to my colleague. Yeah, thank you very much Tomáš uh, for your uh, honest and uh, I would say a pragmatic uh, view on uh, on the energy portfolio that uh, I think this is the question that uh, is moving with Europe and also with Czech Republic indeed. Uh, I can agree that uh, the future probably very probably lies in a well-balanced uh, energy portfolio. Uh, you also mentioned that the nuclear is, uh, I think in many cases it is uh, considered to be sort of a dirty source of the energy, but uh, uh, we know that we have to have some baseline, a reasonable baseline. As you said, the climate here in Czech Republic or in the middle of the Europe is not actually sufficiently giving us en enough sun. So we have to have some reasonable baselines and the nuclear seems to be uh, one of the sources, at least for a couple of countries around the Europe. Uh, but we also know that uh, to uh, actually to, to, to construct or to, to build up a new energy nuclear resource uh, would means talking about the time uh, probably will take us something like uh, one even two human generations to, uh, to, to to build up something like that so what do you personally see as a, a reasonable way forward uh, for a I would say reasonable sustainable uh, energy uh, environment in, in Europe what kind of resources? Uh, I uh, would like to say, especially for, for the Middle and East Europe, is nuclear power really something what will be very, very important in this mix. If we want to, to stop the cool power energy sources, and we will stop it in very short time, you, need, you uh, have to need some of big alternative and uh, it's not in our case the wind energy it's not in our case the sun energy also what is another source the german discussion and i am looking uh, forward uh, to the german media and i was yesterday uh, looking um, uh, to s some document and discussion in uh, in german it's not so easy to find only one solution. And many people like you are asking, okay, let's do more wind power energy, but how you will solve the problem in the autumn? When it's more wind and you don't have it, uh, uh, any option to give it to some batteries or um, I don't know where, to, to really stabilize, stabilize the transmission of the, uh, of the energy. And uh, it's much more about now, about the effectiveness, how to do it. If the, the, and the debate in the Europe is now about the small nuclear power. 
Uh, you know that Bentley and some of companies started this discussion, yeah. but uh, you mentioned that it's really much more for uh, for the future. We are speaking about uh, 2035, 2040, that every every um, city like Hradec Králové, Pardubice will have it. This small nuclear power source of the energy, but in this moment we have to count with the mix. I think we will have it, this debate after the election in the Czech Republic about uh, what we will do with Dukovany or, or Temelin. They are the sources of the nuclear power for the Czech Republic and you know how to stabilize the, the structure of the energy uh, energy after 2035 when we will stop all the coal uh, sources uh, of power in the uh, in the Czech Republic also the mix real mix and do it really um, really realistic it's now very important we started with emotions with ideological and I think that it's perfect to make the Europe green and to make Europe clean it's very good way but it must be realistic also my uh, response to your question is that in this mix will be nuclear power energy uh, I can agree <laughs> I can agree thank you very much Tomas for being here with us today that was my last probably and one on only question that we can afford now. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much for your invitation and I saw the program. It's great. Also, I wish you a pleasant day. Have a nice day. Thank you.